Mmm, get a tragic here. Got a bit of frog in my throat, but uh, welcome to Tabletop Simulator. And this is another little tutorial. I'm doing a few tutorials for this app uh, for fun. And uh, yeah, what I'm going to talk about today is cloud uploading. Now, some of you may know if you're modding, you're using the cloud manager. And what happens is when you upload, even if you do the upload to directory, everything gets chucked in a big messy directory here. Now this mod I've just uploaded to the cloud. Uh, it's a small mod, so it's only about 200 assets, right? Now, if I look at the cloud manager, it's uploaded, but it's all uploaded into this big ugly directory, which I don't, I don't like that. I want it to be, I want it to be in directories that I can look in. So if say, I want to go into my mods, I can go into mods, I can go into Deus, and I can see all my files just for Deus. Now, the problem is there is a way to move files. You can hit the little buttons and hit move and move it to wherever you want, but it's there's no mass move as yet. So what I've done is I've written a little auto hotkey. Auto hotkey is an application that automates functions inside Windows. I don't know if it works on other platforms. And I'm just going to show you how to use that to automate the moving. So basically you just download auto hotkey. If you just type it into Google, you go auto hotkey. It'll just pop up and you can download it. and basically it's a scripting engine so when you run it it doesn't actually open any application it just uh you just run text files it sort of like becomes a an association i don't know how exactly it works but whatever it does work so let's have a quick look at the script that i have written this thing here okay that's just for my old let's get rid of this I'll, I'll post this in the on in in the in the uh, description just so people can download it if you like. Basically, I've just got press P to pause the script. This just pauses the script, and down here, this is the actual script to automate movement. Okay, and all it's saying is move your mouse to this location and click then sleep for a little bit, that just means pause, then move your mouse to this spot and click, sleep, move your mouse to this spot and click, sleep, and then I've just told it to loop 180 times. There's about, a hundred, there's about 200, there's, there's about 190 or something, 180 uh, assets in this, so I'm just gonna change this to 100. Now, back in Tabletop Simulator, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go into my mods. I'm going to hit create new folder and I'm going to make inside mods. And I'm just going to call this case of the old world. Okay. So now if I go into mods, I now have that directory. Now what I'm going to do is if you go to your, wherever it's installed auto hotkey, which I think is in, Oh wait, so if you go into your Windows, my my uh, my window, you know, my start bar is on a different monitor, so this is, what you, this is what the start bar looks up. There'll be something called Windows Spy, so if you just double click Windows Spy, it'll open up an auto hotkey. This is the kind of thing auto hotkey can do when you're super into it. And this is, this just gives you the coordinates on screen. So what you do is, uh, select your window and then I just hit uh, but the first thing I do is I hit the dots and go move and I move it to the correct directory so I'm going to move it to case of the old world and I just hit move okay so I've moved one file so if I go into mods chaos it's there right and now every time you go to move the directory is already selected from now on so now all I need to do is do the movements and if you look into the Windows Spy, you'll see Window, which is here. So that means whatever, that's the mouse position of the current window, right? So I just put my mouse right over there. And when I'm reading the window, it just says 2192, 
272 okay so that's the value and you can see in here I have 219730 which is what it was when I first sort of viewed it because I'm not holding it the exact same position every time and then you just hit the move button do the same thing and this time it's 2215813 which is you know this window in here right so it's I mean when I move the mouse it changed but you get the idea it's uh, 221811 and I've got that to here and I basically just replace the mouse move with those numbers and then the click with those numbers make sure when you replace a click you do not have a comma but you have a comma on mouse move and then once I did once I do this, I then do the same thing for this button here, which is 1816-1168. Okay, so I've got that number there. And then I just save this, this script, and then all I need to do to activate it is load it up. So I've got my scripts saved into my Dropbox, into apps. So there's the script, and I'll just double click it, and it's now active. And now all I need to do is press the hotkey I set, which was T, and I just go T, and bam. It's going to do this 200 times and move all the files into the directory I set. And you can go crazy with this if you want multiple directories. I'm a bit worried that uh, if they have too many directories and subdirectories, then when you hit the drop-down box, it'll go taller than the screen. So... <laughs> Uh, I'm, I'm still sort of dumping everything in a single directory inside the mod folder. But basically, this is a way to automate and just get everything sorted. Now, there is a bug in TTS. Sometimes if you're doing a lot of manipulation on this cloud window, it'll bug out and clicking the dots will do nothing. Uh, don't worry about that. You actually have to reclose the whole of Tabletop Simulator and reload it. Going back to the menu won't help. If we're lucky, we might see that happen in this, this little video, and then I can show that happening. So I'm just going to let this run, uh, and I'm now going to start speeding it up. But as you can see, this is a lot less effort than uh, doing it all manually, and it's not really that hard to do. Now, because I use a subdirectory called mods, I basically have these four directories are never going to change. So this script is going to always work for my tabletop simulator when I have it maximized on my screen because I don't think I'm going to ever add new directories I'm going to put more than any new directories are going to go inside those directories still takes a little bit of time but the point of the automation is that you wouldn't normally be sitting here looking at it I'd go down and make myself a coffee or you know grab a beer or whatever I'm doing depending on what time of day it is <laughs> okay so that's done it's 200 times and it's still not gone through so there's a little more than I thought but uh, so let's just hit the T button again and just move the rest now when it gets to the end of the list you know it'll probably still be running while it's got nothing to do and that's why we put the pause button in which I've hot keyed to P so when it gets to the end of this list and it starts just sort of doing nothing I'll just hit the P button and that'll stop it and then I can close auto hotkey from my taskbar on my windows and then it's uh okay so now you can see it's got nothing to do so i just hit the p key and uh that's the end of that and then i just exit the application and so now i'll go to mods okay it's the old world and there are all my files and everything's good and that's pretty much how i uh i do uh yeah so that's the way this this works now just to basically recap really really quickly uh, you want to load up Windows Spy and then all you need to do is record your mouse cursor right and you want the window value is the number you want okay it doesn't have to it, so you just put your mouse over it and then you take the script that I wrote and just change the values. So the first mouse click would be, you know, clicking on the dots. 
and that's that one. And then you copy that same number into click and just get rid of the comma. Then a little bit of a sleep and that's all you need to do. So you need to record one, two, three mouse clicks and then you just loop it as many times as you want. Uh, 100, 200 is a good number. Like, uh, and that's it. That is literally all there is to it. Okay. I hope you enjoyed this and I'll see you guys next time.